Today we are in Exeter. It's a, it's a bit of a shit hole. Inbreeding is at the high. Blind to see tomorrow. Too broke to beg or borrow. Young and We've got the ultimate on the go cutting meal. 200 grams of curly carrots. 200 grams of chicken breast. We're stuck in some traffic, boys. One more point of contention. Mate, I'm gonna put Dion in here and open it up and he's gonna jump out and be like, oi, oi. <laughs> Oh no, a dig in box. This sounds, this sounds delicious, mate. Oh, cool. Sweet. Carbs in it. <laughs> mate, you get loads of cool shit in here. Oh, bro, yeah. I actually needed some of these. I thought this was like a thing of lube, but it's a thing of. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing of. Um, it's, this is. Urban Jack Groom Shaving Serum. And is this a condom? A company called Vita Student contacted me and they said, Mo, we've got locations in Manchester, Edinburgh, Newcastle and Southampton. Do you, if you want to stay, like choose one of these cities to stay in, stay, do your thing, go out, have a sick time, film it and like let us know what you think of the accommodation and you're welcome to stay in one of our places. So we're actually staying in their accommodation in Southampton. Basically what Vita Student do is they've got all these locations in these different cities and if you're looking for like a short term or a long term let, so let's say you're, you've got like a work placement with uni or you're not even in uni, you don't have to be a student and you just want to stay somewhere for like a weekend or like three days or four days and you don't have, like, you don't want to stay in a hotel. Door, mate. Maybe just come on prep and weak. Shreds are literally cut, mate. They're coming in, aren't they? <laughs> Fuck, bro. How many weeks out am I? I don't know. Over ten weeks out. These are mad bike skills. This is probably the best track stand I've ever done. <laughs> oh, wait. Dion, this guy, not my other friend Dion, who's, well, Dion probably isn't capable of showing us around anywhere. <laughs> Dion is going to show us some facilities. Uh, this is where we have a lot of events, um, a lot of people up here studying. We have our air table. We've got over in the corner a little Mahjong table, all electric. We've got some consoles Marjong just down here. Table. Uh, this, is, this is good enough for me. Even so. Whoa. So this is our private dining room. Yeah. So this is where to be able to you know sit around, have some meals, or if they want to do it as a friends. Um, what was I was told like about an app? What's the deal? So we have something called uh, the Vita Student app. What this does is it gives the ability to be able to know about events that are happening. And there's going to be any like maintenance work happening in the building. Oh, okay. So we can send out like a group chat oh, to specific everyone. specific to this place. Yes, yeah, specifically just oh, to this cool. building. Like so, social media network. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Oh, that's cool, just the Panasonic B6291 washer dryer. My favourite model. <laughs> you've got a cinema room, you've got a gym, you've got the karaoke room, you have an upstairs gaming area pool, as well as a downstairs. Uh, yeah, you've got the pool, you've got table tennis, you've got air hockey, mahjong, um, there's all the events that go on. <laughs> in the lift right now and we're running really late and we've got to go but basically we're going to a ah, low-key rave tonight and i say low-key because it's meant to be low-key but knowing us it always ends up being really really high key and we end up all getting absolutely spangled and shit faced and we just won't talk about it anymore but basically we're going to a rave tonight there's some artists playing called hybrid minds and my mate thomas aka patient is playing we go around his house now and we're also going to do a little bit of filming for hybrid minds so jake wants to learn more about filming and i said he'll teach him how to do it and get him into like fucking sitcom filming level I thought it'd be cool to hook him up with some like drum and bass producers. So I'm, me and him are basically gonna film tonight and sesh, and then we're gonna have like a really, really dope time. But uh, 
Let's go, boys. Right. I've consumed approximately 1,879 calories today, which is not good. I'm meant to be on like 2,200. So we're gonna get like a quick, I'm not very hungry though, just gotta have your himbine and- Mate, this is poverty. A nutrition shake. 20 grams of protein, fat free. Carbohydrates, 10. There we go, I love carbohydrates, mate. I dropped a skill and to remove that from my macronutrients of the day. Literally, you don't know how sad I am, right? This is the, the one highlight of my day. I'm so low on carbs. Without further ado, I want to see everybody raise two hands up to the sky inside Rebel right now. Two hands up. Somebody make some noise for hybrid minds. Oh, time mode. Slap action, I want to see hands. Raise them up, raise them up, raise them up. Three, two, one, let's go! Deep in the depths of darker days Searching desperately to find your place Darling, I am here to ease the pain You will never feel that way again Oh, I Right, it's the morning after, and as you can probably guess, our quiet night out wasn't as quiet as we would have liked it to be. Yeah, so we didn't actually get back until about half five. Went to Tom's house, he played last. Literally, like, Tom's set was one of the best sets I'd ever seen live, period. Like, it was so, it's giving me, like, go like legit, like, goosebumps thinking about how sick it was. We left the event afterwards, that finished at about four o'clock, went back to Tom's house for the after party, spun some tunes, had an after party there. I didn't actually sleep till like 6.37, so he woke up a little bit too late, but still got to train, still got to eat food. Yet like yesterday, I did so many steps as well. Like I've, woke, I've just woken up, I've already done all my steps for today from last night. So yeah, yesterday was freaking mad. Saturday now, we've got a few bits to do. We're gonna train, we're going to town, we're gonna do a bit of shopping. I wanna know what people's issues are, right? I've never seen a man walking around with 5,000 pounds of massive camera talking to himself on his own in a supermarket before. Literally everyone stares at me. What's going on? What? Yeah. Basically, I've walked through a full day of eating soon, like showing you exactly what I get, but the joys of going into accommodation like this is the fact that we can cook everything ourselves. Bagels, carbohydrates, lean burgers, chicken breast to cook in a bit, bacon for Jake, Jake wants some bacon because he's fat, um, more lean burgers, broccoli, garlic, peppers, rice, Chinese curry stuff, bagels, oat milk, like this is actually I thought it sounds absolutely disgusting. I was like, oats don't even have titties. Where does the milk come from? And like almond milk, you know, like makes me taste a bit thirsty. You have to like mask the taste. But oat milk, sweetened, like the original stuff, is proper good. So I have that with shreddies post-workout. 
instead of like cow's milk, like there's nothing really wrong with cow's milk other than the fact that you're supporting the the dairy industry and like all this horrible, horrible stuff like go vegan. No, I'm joking. Um, and so the, the only thing, I, it's like bad for my skin. I find it brings me out like acne if I have cow's milk or it gives me like, I started to get eczema recently, but I have been eating a lot of dairy. I think it might be linked. It basically makes my skin shit. So I've been having oat milk instead, cutting down the dairy a little bit. <laughs> right guys, this is like a really quick room tour of the room. Room room tour? Room tour of the room. We got Jake and we got Dion here, so it's like looking a little bit messy. We've already been staying here for one day, so we've messed it up a little bit. Obviously you've got these like cool welcome packs with like like Reese's and condoms and lube and like basically all the best things in life. You get this cool like welcome pack. Desk here, storage underneath. Decent kitchen. I love this like worktop counter thing, like for YouTube and stuff. It'd be so good. Uh, absolutely banging view outside. Hob, cooker, fridge, dishwasher. Absolute game changer. Vita students, this place gets a thumbs up from me. Like it's absolutely freaking sick. Right, we're gonna go check out the gym downstairs. We're gonna hit a quick delt and arm session. Probably a little bit abs as well. We got Dion, Big D. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go. I was expecting like a hotel gym. It's actually like proper decent. We got cardio machines over there. Three treadmills, uh, exercise bikes, rowing machines. To be fair, the only like cardio thing that I'm gonna be using is the treadmill, really. Dumbbells up to 32, so you can definitely get like a decent workout in here. A Smith machine, so you can do stuff like squats and bench press. Good, good amount of free weights. I think there's probably like 140, 160 worth of free weights there. Decent cable machine. And then we got like a chest press machine. <laughs> On time every day, and he crying for the raise. Boss say he got a got a wife he don't even really like, and a house that's way overpriced, but he still got a wound up tight. Now he started thinking that his life ain't right. He just need a little, cause he on the edge right now. Wrong side of the bed right now, bitch, give me that. Man fall asleep trying to ease that pain cause he tired of the has no dream Cool Right guys, so we're just about done for the weekend I don't think my mind, body or soul can handle going out for two nights in a row anymore uh, Train every single day as well I'm still prepping, I'm still on my diet So obviously like doing so many, like I've done like Probably about 20,000 steps a day on average whilst being here just like going out and walking around the city and seeing things I'm like absolutely destroyed. I want to give a big shout out to Vita Student for letting us stay. The place is absolutely sick They're incredibly nice and there's so many things to do downstairs as well If you guys are ever in need of somewhere to stay some short-term or long-term accommodation be it for uni or not for uni Maybe you're just going out for a weekend and you want a place like a decent studio flat I think these guys are gonna end up being on Airbnb soon as well And if you don't want to book somewhere right now There's a link in the bio down below to find out more about these guys what they do how they do things and if you click the link it supports me as well so i really appreciate it, guys link down below thank you so much place is sick had an absolutely dope weekend and uh next stop is going to be manchester isn't it boys we got like a three and a half hour drive home now it was a struggle this weekend sticking to my macros because we had the kitchen and stuff like i managed to do it i'm probably about 10 weeks out on prep now and like I'm starting to feel the diet just because we've really like started to reduce things and like take calories down and uh, and yeah thanks to this place I managed to adhere to it weight's all good and I will see you guys in the next video keep killing it I can't end it there can I I cannot end it there I got it I got it keep killing it I love you to bits see you later peace out bye.